<laughs> Solid part. Yeah, man. So yeah. I, I, ju I just strain off. I just strain off this into the um, into the mixing drum. So I'm gonna refill this now for the second boiling. You know? Okay. So I'm gonna get in here now. Man. Serious roots going on. We make a little pot at Muckles Place. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is much larger. Yeah. Is this the one you guys bottle and sell? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. How many bottles would you get out of a big pot like that? Yeah, well, uh, sure, this, I'll show you the, the containers. Okay. This here now would have been um, the, it's a 200, <laughs> it's a 200 gallon, right? Yeah. So we would have run distribute from here to this one, yeah, very rich, very rich this size now, with spicy, and, um, sugar, honey, molasses, ginger, rose almond, vanilla, nutmeg, Irish marsh linseed, all of them things here uh, we will comprise. That is what we eventually get in one five ounce bottle. Man, and how many roots? Uh, when I was reading the ingredients, I saw you had like strong back, four vines. The, 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 the label now, what we have now exceed what is on the label. Yeah. Because even right now we have been a new one now that is called uh, um, Bar Cedar Bar. Bar cedar bark one that is good for the cleansing of the chest, so we keep on adding. So the label cannot hold the multiple ingredients that the piece they are carry. And it is a naturopathic yes. root, so an alcoholic. It stamina's, vitalize, and for the ladies that might suffer um, infertility, um, the priest are bitters and roots wine you know, that alleviate some of those um, bacteria that would have caused a clog in the colon. So it is a cleanser, mm -hmm. cleans and bills. And Moko always says power in a reptile for the guys. <laughs> well, yeah, well, yeah, of, of course, of yeah. course. <laughs> <laughs> That's his exact words, I believe. So. Yeah, yeah. This is all new glass that you just fill up? Yeah, this is all the new glass? Or? We're going to fill, fill up now. So you keep boiling up different pots and then do you just add it to that big one when they're mm -hmm. they're done essentially? So you're doing them in small loads really. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm trying to, this might take about three or four of this size to fill that pot for yeah. the boiling. This year now, um, this year now, this come from a tree that we call locust. Yes. Out in our culture, we refer to it as tinking toe. Tinking Tink toe. With the pods where you can ah. eat the little fruit on the inside, the white one, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. So, so this year now, when this is used, when the shell now is used in the fire, for, for a fire, it give off like a frankincense smell mm. yeah, and it is highly, highly. Wow. Tinking toe, I love the name. Mm -hmm. It's so funny. Mm, see, that's a pad. Wow. And, and this grows a lot around here, you know. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, they get big. In this area. Tinkering tool. And this is also, this is also infused inside the roots. What we do with the, with, um, with the, the, we call it the meat that comes out of the pad. Mm -hmm. We saturate it for a while and get out the seed and, and also we use that to blend with the roots so it's more toxic, you yeah, know, yeah. powerful. <laughs> They grow? No. Oh. Regular cocoa is edible. I mean you can heat that, but this one no, they say wild. Yeah. It's um totally different. That is what we use this now. This is like the root. Ah. The you know, so you know I think Moko showed me this one. It looked like a cocoa leaf, but it was really shiny and dark yeah. green, right? Yeah. yeah. So if people want to get the roots, they have to come right up here, yeah? Well, sometimes they kind of, we bring it out in the different parishes. Ah. Yeah, go out to the people. <laughs> 